is my name is Elle Kingsmill, bringing you a, a storytelling video today, a little bit of a departure. Ooh, we're revisiting a Norse myth today because I remembered the story of Thor's wedding and it's just very, very funny to me. So one day, Thor wakes up and his hammer, the magical hammer Mjolnir, the one from the Marvel movies that's only to be lifted by the worthy, is missing. It's it's gone. He cannot find it anywhere and so uh, he does what Thor always does when he's in trouble. He goes to his brother Loki and wakes him up and says, psst, hey psst, hey psst, Loki, what you big ugly moron? Mjolnir's gone. Things get dramatic. They look all over and nowhere within Asgard can they find this missing hammer. So that is not a great thing. They're pretty worried about what could happen if the wrong person got their hands on this uh, super powerful magic hammer. So what's their next step? They go and they visit Freya. There was some confusion about this last time as to whether I was saying Freya or Freya. It's an accent thing, y'all. So I'm talking about Freya not Freya. So they go visit Freya and they say, um, please, please, can we borrow your feathered dress that enables its wearer to fly? Thor's a little too big, it doesn't fit, so Loki puts on the lovely feather gown and he takes off and he flies all the way to Jotunheim, the land of the giants. He flies all over trying to scope out uh, where, where the hammer might be and finally he lands in a field where he sees Thrym. The, the king of the giants and he's hanging out with, you know, his horses and his dogs on golden leashes and a bunch of sheep or whatever, I don't know. What's got you all dressed up and out and about? And Loki says, look, things are pretty rough at the moment. Thor has lost his hammer. He's very stressed out about it. You wouldn't happen to have seen it by any chance? And Thrym says, oh, oh, yeah, 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 hammer. Yeah, yay big. Real heavy? Yeah, I took that. I stole that. And I hid it eight fathoms deep in the world, and you ain't never gonna find it. Ain't no one ever gonna bring it back up out of the ground until my demands are met. What were Thrym's demands? Thrym demanded that he be allowed to marry Freya, as she was the most beauteous of the gods. Loki feels like that is not gonna be quite so simple, but he has his answer, and he flies all the way back to Asgard again with the feathered dress. Thor sees him coming in and he says, all right, stop right there, buddy. All right, Loki, people who are sitting down often forget the truth of their story. People who are lying down are liars. It's in the name, lying. People standing up are, are pretty well truthful, but I can only imagine that if you're flying above the earth, that you're the most truthy that you'll ever get. So tell me the news before you land. It's uh, it's not good news. <laughs> I did find the hammer, uh, but we do have to convince Freya to marry Thrym, King of the Giants. Thor doesn't seem to think that this is uh, actually that much of a problem. So he grabs Loki and they go back to Freya's palace and they say, quick, quick, you gotta come with us. You gotta get married to the King of the Giants. Come on, let's go. And Freya says, excuse me? And enters such a rage that the ground shakes that she fully hulks out. Her neck tenses so much that uh, the necklace Brisingammon snaps its chain and falls to the ground. And uh, and she gives him what for, and they come away unsuccessful. She refuses to marry Thrym. Good for her. So a council of the gods uh, is called together so that they can discuss what they should do because the giants having um, this super powerful hammer of Thor is not like great for them if they don't want to ever be invaded and have Asgard taken over by giants. So they're, they're tossing around ideas and then finally Heimdall suggests Here's what we should do. Thor should wear a wedding veil, right? He can borrow Freya's dress and go decked out in all jewels and stuff and say that he is Freya there for the wedding. Thor says, that's the stupidest idea I have ever heard. Look at how buff I am. There's no way they'd buy it. Loki says, ah, ah, ah. You know what? Actually not that bad an idea. Because you know what they have? is the necklace Brisingammon, which is universally recognized as belonging to Freya. So Loki says, all we have to do is dress you up in a wedding getup, clip this necklace round your neck, let me do all of the talking, and I think this could work. So Loki dresses up as Thor's maid of honor, and the two of them 
travel on over in Thor's goat-led chariot. No one thought that part was suspicious. And they show up in Jotunheim. And Thrym says, oh boy, that's my wife coming to marry me. Let's get everything set up. He declares that the only thing that he lacks, because he's so rich and wealthy and powerful, the only thing he lacks is Freya. And so he wants to show that off. So he orders for all of his uh, most beautiful cattle to be brought on up. And he orders jewels to be laid out everywhere and fancy golden like goblets and I don't know, whatever. The fine china and the, the silverware for the banquet. And also let's lay out some straw for her to sit on because she's a delicate lady and we don't want her sitting on just, you know, normal chairs. No, straw laden chairs for my gal. So Thor shows up with his veil on and they sit down at the banquet to eat. And Thor on his own eats like an entire oxen and eight salmon and all of the the little fancy like hors d'oeuvres that have been laid out for the women and he drinks three kegs of mead and it's just generally not very subtle and and Thrym picks up on it he's like uh, I have never seen a, a woman pack so much food away before that's that's not what I would have expected of Freya but thankfully Loki's there and uh, and as the maid of honor says oh no 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 you know it's fine it's just um, she was so excited to get married to you that um, she's fasted for eight days and eight nights. Hasn't had a, even a little bit to eat, so she's just famished. That's all that's happening here, because she's so excited to, to be wed to you. So I was like, yeah, yeah, that checks out. At some point, he gets a little excited and wants to take a peek under the veil, and he goes to lift it, and he's met with Thor's hideous angry glare, bloodshot, lit with rage, staring directly into Thrym's soul. Thrym's so freaked out that he, he literally yelps and leaps half the room away and says, what is up with that? What's up with her eyes? What's wrong with her eyes? This, they're terrifying. But Loki is the maid of honor says, oh, no, 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 you don't understand. She was just so eager to be married to you that she, um, she hasn't slept for eight days or nights either. Oh. It's been a time, um, but she's really looking, it's what it is, is that she loves you and she's really looking forward to being your wife. And Thrym is like, okay, but sits down a little further away from Freya this time. So, Freya. Finally, Thrym's sister comes in and, uh, and is very blunt as a person. And she says, all right, come on, time for the, for the wedding gifts. You give us all your golden rings. Come on, chop, chop. And Thrym says, all right, but if we're gonna do that, we should be trading, really, so bring out the, uh, the hammer that I stole from the God of Thunder. Let's lay that on my wife's lap and I'll take the golden rings and it'll be a lovely trade. And then we can get to the wedding ceremony. So they bring out Mjolnir from underneath the mountains, deep, deep under the earth, and they lay it across Freya's lap. And Thor says, finally, he lifts the hammer gloriously and smashes Thrym to bits and smashes his sister to bits, and smashes all the wedding guests all to bits, and he takes the gold back, he takes all his stuff back, and he and Loki leave with the hammer, uh, with Thor's bloodlust having been sated. So, you know, a pretty violent ending, but at least they looked good while doing it. I hope that you enjoyed that story. If you did, you know how the internet works, all the buttons exist for your clicking pleasure. That felt like a weird sentence by the end. Apart from that, I do believe that's it. I'm done. Email this to your grandma. Keep safe. What did I say last time? Stafe? Everyone stafe. And I'll see you some other time. This is the second time in my life, in this career, that I have been efficient while filming. It took me less than an hour for once. Isn't that remarkable?